everyone. So your teachers ask you to do a Pecha Kucha presentation for class, or Pachuchka, as some people might say. In this video, I'm going to go over what a Pecha Kucha presentation is, how to get the, your slides set up for a great presentation, and then some tips and tricks for presenting really well in the Pecha Kucha format. So what is Pecha Kucha anyway? Pecha Kucha is an interesting presentation style that was developed first in Japan to make a creative way for people to share ideas and tell stories better than just the boring old PowerPoint style. So if you want to try something different, Pecha Kucha is the style for you. In this presentation style, you're given 20 seconds per slide for a total of 20 slides to tell a story, to get across a point, or to give out some interesting ideas. This may feel weird at the beginning if you're just trying out Pecha Kucha for the first time. You may feel rushed, you may feel anxious, but once you practice it, it's actually a really fun and creative way to get across ideas. As you notice, I'm sort of nearing Pecha Kucha style in this video with one simple image on my background. And I'm not exactly gonna do Pecha Kucha because I'm gonna show you some ways to set it up at the end, but you will notice that Pecha Kucha is very image-based and people are meant to listen to the story and the ideas you are giving rather than read information or look at complex images on a slide. You want your slides in Pecha Kucha to be simple and to the point. So what's the story you're gonna tell with your or Pecha Kucha presentation. Be thinking about that as you construct your outline. The first thing you're going to want to do is come up with your ideas and then you can start to actually format your presentation in the Pecha Kucha format. And I'm going to share with you a few tips that you want to keep in mind as you're designing your slides. Remember, you only have 20 seconds per slide and you don't want to make it feel like it's rushed. So come up with your ideas and then start thinking about what images or what slides could be the best to convey your information. You want to keep text light and you want to use images that are interesting and will grab the audience's attention. I use all of my images from this slideshow. I got all of my images from this slideshow from Unsplash and Pixabay. These are two sites with fair use images. In your Pecha Kucha presentation, you want to make sure that you are comfortable enough with the material that you can explain it to the audience in 20 seconds, but you don't want to read from a script. This way, if you make a mistake or you stumble a little bit or something happens, there's audience laughter, you still have room to breathe and move forward and you're comfortable enough with the content. You also want to tell a story. Start at the very beginning with your main idea and make sure you get that across clearly to the audience and tell them what's coming up. This is sort of like in my YouTube video start. I told you what I was going to be presenting about. I'm going through the tips and tricks now. And then later on, I'll talk about how you can format your slides. Make sure you also have an outline ready to go. It's much easier to design a Pecha Kucha presentation if you have your outline written out and then you start in the slides. It's really tempting to start just dumping images on slides first, but the more you storyboard, the more you draw out in a draft, just a list on a Google Doc or a sheet of paper, the better you can structure your presentation. Next up is practice. Once you get all your information outlined, you have your stuff ready to go, you wanna make sure you can get your ideas across in 20 seconds. Get a 20 second interval timer and just talk through. See how much information you can cover in that time. You don't wanna seem rushed, but you do wanna make sure you have a comfortable enough grasp on the content in those 20 seconds. I'm gonna now show you three ways to set up Pecha Kucha presentations. One in Google Slides, one on the Pecha Kucha website, and then once in PowerPoint, and I'll link to these resources in the video description. So now I'm gonna break from the Pecha Kucha format to show you how to do this, but if you have more questions and wanna see some great examples of other Pecha Kucha presentations. There's lots of them out on the internet. If you've done a Pecha Kucha presentation yourself, make sure you say it in the comments below. Maybe you can share it with people who want to see these videos. All right, so first up, I did my presentation on Google Slides. So I'm going to exit presentation mode here and walk you through how I would set up Pecha Kucha to auto advance every 20 seconds. Now your teacher might give you a template for this already, so you may not even need to set this part up. And if so, you can skip ahead in the video. But on Google Slides, after I've created my 20 slides, and remember these are very image based, you don't want to include a lot of text that way, you know your audience is focused on you rather than the information on the slides because they're either going to read the text or they're going to listen to you or they're going to look at the pictures. They're not going to do all those things. So once you have your simple slides and your Pecha Kucha presentation ready to go, you're going to go to file and then publish to the web. From there, you want to auto advance your slides and Google doesn't have a 20 second default. So you're going to click every 10 seconds. And then you are going to take this link here and copy the link. I'm on a Mac, so it's Command-C or it's Control-C if you're on a PC. 
and then you'll put that in your search bar above and you notice there's a 10,000 here. All you wanna do to make the 20 seconds be your, all you wanna do for a 20 second timer is you wanna go and delete this one here, add a two, and then when you hit enter or return, it's gonna start your slideshow. So be ready to go. And here we go. I have my first slide brought up, how to do a Pecha Kuchi presentation for class. I can hit play and this should auto advance in 20 seconds. Remember to make sure you've practiced ahead of time. It's okay to have note cards, but you really don't wanna read from a script. You wanna make sure you know the presentation material well enough that you can improvise a little bit, that you have room to pick up your speed or slow things down if need be, and you can delete a line or two. So there we go, my slide just advanced automatically after 20 seconds. So you can hit pause on Google Slides or you can let it keep going for the full Pecha Kucha presentation. But remember, Pecha Kucha is meant to keep yourself going so you don't get stuck on one point. I'm gonna now go to PowerPoint and show you how to do the same thing. So if you're on PowerPoint, you wanna make sure you have your 20 slides set up and then you're gonna go to transitions. And you wanna make sure that on transitions, you can do this for all of the slides or just one at a time if you wanna control A or command A. Um, you wanna make sure it automatically transition after 20 seconds. So that on my version of PowerPoint is right here. And you don't wanna make, you wanna make sure this on mouse click is unchecked. And you can also hit apply to all and that should apply to all your slides. Then we can go down to our presentation mode. Let's start with this woman here. And now this woman will advance automatically to the next slide after 20 seconds. Another tip for doing your Pecha Kucha presentations is that if you're participating in this type of presentation style in a group, you wanna make sure it is very clear who is doing which slides and where. I would not recommend alternating one person after one person. Oh, there we go, or my 20 seconds, my slide advance. Um, what I would recommend doing instead is having one person be in charge at the beginning, another person in charge of the middle, and another person in charge of the end. If you're alternating between two people or going back and forth during a Pecha Kucha presentation, you can lose a lot of time between the transition between two people. So if you are in a group, make sure it's very well rehearsed and people have chunks of information and you're not alternating slide by slide. All right, lastly, you can also set up a Pecha Kucha presentation on the Pecha Kucha website itself. And that is in create mode. You can actually create your own slide template on this website itself. Pecha Kucha has its whole community. They have Pecha Kucha nights where people share stories via the Pecha Kucha format. You can also go to the Pecha Kucha website and find presentations that might be interesting to you to see other versions of Pecha Kucha and how people have created interesting topics through this. There's also lots of examples on YouTube. And if you've created a Pecha Kucha presentation in the past and you'd like to share it, feel free to add it in the comments below. I'd love to check it out. So this 20 by 20 presentation format doesn't give you a lot of room to wiggle with, but I know it's going to be a really great presentation experience and you are going to get really good at getting to the point and telling great stories within your presentations. If you're doing this for class, good luck. Make sure you let me know how it goes and thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want to hear more about science, education, or technology from me. See you later.